Use out of an MG, but it's the same. This is a nine inch Ford Detroit locker because because it's an enclosed carrier and a nine inch, that's the only way they could do it. There's either a, the central drives either have a spline around the outside or they have four trunnions like universals have. But anyway, this is the uh, exact same thing except for these gears. This is a 25 spline, which is uh, what MGs have. They had some race car. They've got a long tooth in this thing. See that long tooth? Sometimes that has been known to break off, and when that breaks off, the thing won't unlock. <laughs> but anyway, so what you've got to do, wherever the long tooth is, that cutout, that is the holdout ring. That skids around there when it's in the uh, when one is unlocked. This is differentiating, and that's staying stationary. Well, it's, not, it's rotating all the time with this, but this may be going faster than the central drive. Um, the one that wants to go faster is the one that actually disengages. So when you want to put them together, you've always got to put that gap, that skid hold out ring. This will cut, it will come out. It's only the spring loaded in there. It's got an undercut in there so it can never fall out. So anyway, you put that opposite the, the long tooth like that. And the same goes for the opposite one too, you see, which is that one. That one and that one go together. So when the um, the mech, this has been driven that way, <coughs> and one wants to go faster, they've got excessive clearance in these dogs, so that when it moves forward, it's got time to disengage. And how that happens is those teeth there right up on these cams, this cam face, you see, that will ride up, you watch, I'll uh, put it together again, and you'll see. This is the main part of the Detroit locker, yeah? This is the main function. Mm -hmm. So, we've got that together there, they're, they're just to hold, centralise these springs that goes that way. Mm -hmm. And they big ones go down and in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll get them off so we can actually see how it all works. So you got the Detroit locker. These are um well that axle there. Not that actually. <coughs> do it. So so it's getting driven that way because the clearances are at the back. Now, as soon as I want to go f faster, see it lifting up? So now it's riding over. Mm. That, that, those feet come out of these slots and sit up, rest up on top of that undercut. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it slows down, as soon as it slows down, well, of course, it snaps back in by those big couch springs. This is when you're going around the corner and the wheels want to differentiate. Mm, the one that wants to go faster, so on a right-hand turn, the left-hand wheel's going faster, so that'd be the one that'd be um, uh, disengaging, you see? Mm -hmm. Like it just did then, you see? See? Then it snaps back in, and the same goes for the opposite side. One's going around the left hand turn. Where are we? So say if you like drop a burnout, it would it wouldn't differentiate, would it? Because it no, it won't. It won't because both wheels. The one isn't trying to turn go. One isn't going faster than the carrier. Mm -hmm. You see, something's happening here. That. And the long tooth, there it is. They're all in. Yeah, so um, on a left hand turn, this is a picture of me being at the back of the car. This is in that configuration, central drive's going. So the right hand, the right hand one will want to uh, disengage. It's hard to um, do it with only two hands, but <laughs> get a hold.
hold of ring. But tell you what we can do. There's a, 20, uh, there's a 25 spline axe in there. Old pinion flanges, tools. There we go. That'll make it easier. So, I'm just going to put this all back together. The long tooth is there. That's the long tooth there. So, the Detroit Locker was made 50 years ago or more? Apparently, during the war or ran the war. The time, 1945 or something. So, 40, that's uh, 60, 80 years. They've been around for a long time. 83 years, okay. Here's the long tooth. How come they invent all this shit when there's a war, but, but when there isn't a war, things don't get invented that much? <laughs> Well, necessity is the motherhood of invention. They made, made this exact because of the war, you see. So, now, so there are their troops can uh, drive over muddy terrain and, and kill more trucks. people. Well, they had big trucks and all going off road, and you know, bitching roads all the way into warfare. So that's going that way. So the talk is that way, right? Now, so that's that way. That's if it's doing the right hand turn. <coughs> for each fucking minute, but uh, here's a look. We'll put that this other way. Put it this side. Because we showed you the right hand turn. Just wanted to show the left hand turn now. Mm -hmm. Which, um, we'll just keep filling on that. Yeah, I'll get the door in a minute. So that's going that way. So on the left hand turn, that one, there, yeah. jumped yeah. out. That's the right hand yeah. axle. We'll go around the corner, being the fastest wheel. Well, anyway, go and have a look at that. And that's how Detroit Locker works.